well, of course, in the, in the world and in, the, in, the, in, the, in our homes, so we're kind of you know, we're taking, we're taking down our, uh, a lot of decorations all. And then, of course, in, in tradition, we still have it up a little bit because today, of course, the, the, uh, the second Sunday is that third of the miracles uh, of the mystery of the Epiphany. Uh, the, how the, the Gentiles, or uh, uh, the, the kings, are led to, uh, to adore the Lord, the Messiah, by the star. St. John the Baptist uh, baptized our Lord, and of course, our Lord is uh, pointed out by the voice of the Father and the God, the Holy Ghost. And of course, the uh, the first sign of the uh, of our Lord's uh, public ministry, uh, he, uh, his first miracle uh, at the wedding feast of Cana, through the intercession of his mother. Uh, just again, this is that uh, very important of uh, the three miracles and the mysteries of. Uh, uh, of the epiphany, uh, the manifestation of our Lord. <clears throat> the, uh, you, uh, we, won't, we won't do it after today, as I did the, uh, the prayers, the octave of prayers for Christian unity after the first mass, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, 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 do the other uh, ones. But, but of course, it started yesterday. It was a, it's a uh, tr tradition that started uh, long before, I mean, probably right after the uh, French Revolution, with the beginning of the World Council of Churches. So, the church uh, started praying, of course, Pius X, Pius XI, and, uh, and uh, uh, twelfth, and uh, uh, solidified the octave of prayer for true Christian unity. Uh, I think it was uh, Pius XI put out the encyclical on promoting, fostering the true unity among Christians all. The first one, of course, uh, yesterday was the uh, other sheep uh, being united to the uh, and converted to the, the, the Holy See, the eternal Rome. Uh, today is the the return of the Orthodox, the uh, what they call Oriental separatists. Uh, although they they have they valid sacrament, but they're out of uh, union. Uh, the, the, the rejection of the uh, uh, the Roman uh, authorities and all, uh, uh, and of course, uh, it, it's, and then the other various ones for the conversion of, of course, Anglicans, Lutherans, the, the European Protestants, American Protestants, the lapsed Catholics, Jews and Muslims. The, the next Saturday, the convergence of all is the, uh, the missionary conquest of the world for Christ, the, especially the conversion of the heathens and pagans. Uh, <laughs> also, and all of these, we also pray for all, on, on Good Friday, uh, when, the, when our Lord suffered in his passion for the, the conversion of uh, the, 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 uh, the, the non Christians, the non Catholics, and of course the uh, uh, return of those who have left the, the faith and all. So we can. Uh, so it's a very important week of prayer for the true unity in the church and all. Uh, and it's, it's, this is not uh, coming from Vatican II and praying for the, uh, the false unity uh, <clears throat> that uh, that everyone can go to the Holy Communion regardless of what faith they are. It's like uh, that's the <clears throat> that's the uh, sacrilege. Uh, so. The, uh, now today is also a very, very important day for the parish here. We have an uh, uh, Christmas Epiphany Parish potluck. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been preparing, doing some goodies there for the uh, the food and fun, of course, among the parishioners here. We, uh, so in the St. Anne's Hall, uh, I think everyone knows you go out and take a left around the, the sidewalk over there to St. Anne's Hall for the for, uh, food and drinks and all. Um, uh, and have, uh, and these are a little camaraderie among the among the people out to, uh, and help each other. Um, the uh, I, I, I use I think my my, my usual mass at uh, six thirty on Monday. Um, now the uh, group uh, of the faithful are going to Quito on pilgrimage. Uh, uh, a lady of the uh, once uh, one uh, such suggestion or whatever. Uh, in Quito, uh, they will be going uh, through the uh, the second, third, third of February. So, um, but uh, so there won't be on this week and next week, the Wednesday and Friday, uh, the devotions to the perpetual hell, and the sacred heart reparation. Um, hopefully, maybe someone will be there about five o'clock. Maybe uh, those want to come and do it privately, uh, the prayers, whatever. Uh, so uh, that be uh, just to let people know that. Uh, those of, uh, the, uh, unless someone is there to open up the private before them, uh, you know, there, there won't be uh, the, the public uh, element there. Um, and you have, uh, of course, next Sunday is, uh, of course, the, uh, 
uh, all the rosary ladies, uh, they will do their prayers uh, together, and uh, and of course the the past the past is apologetics, the invitation against liberalism will continue there next Sunday. And uh, I, I'll leave the uh, the blessed chalk uh, that was blessed in honor of the three kings, Saints uh, Gaspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. Uh, the blessed chalk will be there for those who want to take a piece to uh, to bless, uh, put the blessing over their doors, the blessing of the three kings uh, over the doors of the house and all. Uh, but I also ask I mean, if you can re re return the chalk, uh, you know, unless you've used it all up, would be whatever to return it. And then, of course, so the uh, I or the priest that does it next year can can bless the chalk. Should get the blessing each year for that year and all. So uh, you, can, you can return it. Uh, we'll leave the basket out till till uh, another two weeks and all. And also, the, um, we're kind of uh, the, uh, getting down the uh, plenty of epiphany water. People are taking the uh, bringing jars or bottles to, to, to bring down plenty of uh, solemnly blessed epiphany water to your homes. Uh, uh, so I think there's a, a, still another container uh, plus the font in the back is filled with the epiphany water. Uh, for especially the, it's hopefully everyone knows the uh, the power of epiphany of holy water to keep the devil away. It's blessed with the. Uh, not only the salt, but the exorcism, the exorcism of the salt and the, the water. So it's a very powerful sacramental. Uh, it's hopefully everyone blesses themselves going in and out of the, of the, of the church and all. The readings for this uh, second Sunday after Epiphany. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 12. Brethren, we have different gifts according to the grace that is given us on the prophecy to be used according to the rule of faith, or ministry and ministry, you know, or he that teaches in doctrine, he that exhorts in exhorting, he that giveth with simplicity, he that rules with carefulness, carefulness, he that shows mercy with cheerfulness. Let, uh, mer let love be without dissimulation, hating to that which is evil, cleaving to that which is good, loving one another with the charity of the brotherhood, with uh, honor, preventing one another, uh, in carefulness, not slothful, in spirit, uh, fervent, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, as instant in prayer, communicating to the necessities of the saints, pursuing the hospitality, blessed them that persecute you, bless and do not curse. Uh, we, uh, rejoice with them that rejoice, uh, weep with them that weep, being of one mind, one toward another, not minding high things, but consenting to the humble. Be not wise in your own conceits. Please stand for the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 2. At that time there was a marriage feast in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus who was there, and Jesus uh, was also invited with his disciples to the marriage feast. And the wine failing, the mother of Jesus uh, uh, said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what is it to me and to thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said to the waiters, whatsoever he shall say to you, do ye. Now there were six uh, there was set there uh, were six water pots of stone, according to the manner of the purification of the Jews, containing six, uh, I'm sorry, containing two uh, or three measures apiece. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And Jesus uh, said to them, fill, draw out the now and carry to the chief steward of the feast. And uh, they carried it, and when the chief steward had tasted the water, made wine, and knew not whence it was. And the way, but the waiters knew who had, who had drawn the water. The chief steward called the right room and said to him, Every man at, at first sets forth good wine, and when many of them uh, well drink, they, uh, then they which is, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee uh, and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Thus for the words of today's Holy Gospel. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Our Lady, help of Christians. Pray for us. us.
people. We have a course on this day uh, celebrating the third of the miracles, uh, the mystery of the Epiphany. The, uh, I, think, uh, I think probably most of you use uh, those who like the, the, the spiritual, this uh, spirit drink. Uh, uh, say, oh, you see, I, I, even our Lord uh, liked uh, wine and, and the alcoholic beverages and all. So, but. Uh, Obviously, uh, he of course uh, uh, did that to show forth the, uh, uh, of course, the, the saving the best wine for last is actually the sy symbolism of, uh, of, our, of, of course, our Lord. Uh, 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 you can say Saint John the Baptist, the last uh, and the greatest of the prophet, but our Lord is not just a prophet, but the the Messiah. Uh, the, the best, uh, the best one is now here. You are the Messiah, and also, of course, it was symbolizing that, but. Uh, but of course, the wine, St. Paul tells us that um, also that a little wine is good for the stomach, whatever. Uh, was, uh, I'm not sure I can emphasize it, but a little wine. <laughs> uh, a little too much, uh, and you uh, kind of uh, use control of things, whatever. <clears throat> and of course, uh, there you go, you'll see uh, the flash of lights behind you, I would call, whatever. Uh, but uh, so, no, but the, uh, the, the uh, this importance of the this uh, first of the miracles worked through the intercession of uh, his mother, uh, the mother of God, uh, is of course uh, helping our Lord to uh, bring uh, start his uh, public ministry with a miracle, a great miracle. Uh, the water made uh, made the water made wine to uh, to save the embarrassment of the couple, but. Uh, but of course, and showing forth that she is a, she is more than just the, the first disciple of all. She is the queen of all saints. She's the mother of the church. Uh, she is our mother. Of course, uh, she that powerful intercession. You know, we pray her in the the litany. Uh, the virgin most powerful, the virgin most faithful. Um, we uh, we call on her to help us uh, in the, those moments of distress and all. And so of course. Uh, uh, St. Louis the Montfort in the beautiful uh, uh, the treatise on the true devotion. Uh, this is a bit of an older copy there. Uh, or even that little thin one, the, the Secret of Mary, which kind of like it's a, a prelude and all. Uh, again, it shows the importance of how the, our Lord uh, made use of Our Lady. And of course, she was she laid herself as at the disposal of, of our Lord uh, and whatever he willed. Uh, uh, she did have the preventing grace of the Immaculate Conception, but she did say uh, of a free will, free accord, the, the fiat, you know. Uh, growing up in the temple, she, uh, she of course, studied and knew, she heard, she knew all these prophecies. She uh, heard in the contemplation of the, the, the gospel we the uh, past couple of sa uh, Saturdays, uh, the gospel of the second Mass of Christmas, the Mass of Dawn, uh, that uh, how she uh, contemplated, she uh, conferred these things in her heart. Uh, last Sunday, she, of course, uh, hearing our Lord talk about his, I uh, uh, did not know it uh, must be about my father's business. And of course, Our Lady conferred the and contemplated kept these in her heart. Uh, uh, that's what Simeon say, uh, and, and, and by heart a sword shall pierce, and out of its many thoughts shall be revealed. Uh, so, of course, uh, Our Lady Conventes, and of course, uh, all for our redemption. You know, uh, she, uh, she didn't understand everything completely, but she, of course, humbly accepted. Uh, St. Paul, doesn't he say they had the, uh, the different gifts of a prophecy, exhorting ministry? So, uh, gives with simplicity, rules with carefulness. You know, those of uh, our superiors, heads of households, so uh, to rule with that carefulness. and. Uh, Knowing that uh, those who rule over them will have a judgment. You know, they'll have to answer. How did they treat uh, others? Uh, showing mercy with cheerfulness, love without dissimulation, hating that which is evil, cleaving to that which is good. You know, St. Paul's laid it out for uh, for all of us as the children of Our Lady, children of Holy Mother Church, uh, the charity and the brotherhood. Um, carefulness, not slothful. For serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, instant in prayer, communicating to the necessity of the saints. You know, not, and not only but uh, the saints as far as the living, uh, the church militants, but do we call on Our Lady and our holy patrons? If you say, oh, I don't have a name, I don't have a, a name of, of a saint or whatever, well, uh, it's either, I mean, it can be a derivative of, of a, a saint's name or 
don't, I mean, your patron saint can be that of, uh, of uh, a saint who's uh, of your own, maybe uh, your own line of work, or the place you live. You know, uh, a lot of times people uh, will uh, uh, call on the, the patrons, uh, of the patron saints of a, of a place or their occupation. So, um, uh, uh, the, the saint, there's a new, a new world saints in heaven. They are waiting to uh, communicate with us the, the graces through Our Lady's Immaculate Heart uh, for uh, helping us to, uh, to of course, uh, saving us from the, the, uh, the embarrassment of maybe uh, 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 committing sins over again. You know, uh, and of course, uh, and all of course, all this Our Lady, of course, uh, helps out as uh, uh, an instrument of uh, our Lord working His first miracle at a wedding feast. Uh, the importance of marriage, marriage. Uh, even oh, I know sometimes in, in theology we always start talking about how uh, you know say, well, baptism is the first of sacraments, and you can't receive any other sacraments unless you first are baptized or reconciled through through the sacrament of penance, which is into that that. An extension of, uh, of baptism and all. Uh, but then, of course, you think, well, actually, uh, marriage was first uh, at the very beginning, <laughs> beginning of uh, mankind's history, whatever. Uh, you know, Adam and Eve were joined together and the two shall be one. Uh, so, of course, uh, obviously, it wasn't a sacrament in the sense of uh, uh, with the sanctifying grace coming from the passion of our Lord. Uh, but it was, a, it was a very powerful uh, contract. Uh, the, uh, you can say a divine contract. Our Lord calls together uh, the uh, 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 man and woman. Uh, that's why, of course, uh, it's important uh, this Sunday, of course, uh, you know, uh, boys and girls, men and women who are, uh, who are planning for marriage. Well, first of all, it's always important, especially like when the uh, boys and girls reach what, 16, 17, 18 years of age. Uh, uh, their first question shouldn't should be, oh, who am I going to marry? I mean, well, I get it. well, it should be, what is God calling me to do with my life? Now, obviously, I mean, uh, some uh, might hear or hear that they have things uh, mapped out for themselves, you know, their talent or things, whatever. Uh, then, then it could be, uh, you know, uh, if they want to marry, well, you know, to marry and uh, to prepare for it in the right way. You know, to, you know, who does God want me to marry? Who is who is God calling me to to, uh, to, to marry? Well, and of course, that's where the uh, again the graces of baptism, regular confession, communion, confirmation, so can help help us to live out that faith and all uh, and all the graces that we receive from the sacraments through our Lady's Immaculate Heart, the devotion to the Immaculate Heart, the, the very things of. Uh, uh, they have, of course, uh, on, on the back of the, uh, the news that they have, of course, the notification of the Our Lady Victory's traveling statue, or the pilgrimage statue. Well, I, I'm not quite sure exactly uh, who has it there right now, but uh, I think they've been here what, for a week or two or so, or a month. Uh, I know for, for Olivia Ades, they put out a, a book years ago, the pilgrimage statue, uh, on the Academy, or just of Our Lady. So that, uh, it's very important when the, uh, a, 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 a mission, a church can uh, can have a statue that can travel about, and where a family or a neighborhood can have a lady statue, where it calls people together to pray, to, that devotion to Our Lady Mother. They have the, um, the various uh, the graces and merits of uh, whoever. I mean, when it, whoever it would have it in their home, and so do they care for just the faithful come, or maybe their neighbors? Sometimes the Protestant neighbors might say. You know, what is this? You know, are they, you know, is it a church? Or whatever. You know, a lot of times Protestants think that if Catholics have the sacred things in their home, they immediately think uh, it's a church. Well, in some way, the home should be that. The uh, uh, the, the, the the local the, the, the local church, the, the domestic church. Just like last week, we celebrated the uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the Holy Family. You know, the, the divine model of all families. We pray after our rosaries every day. Uh, you know, the Lord grant us priests. The Lord grant us many holy Catholic families. And the one thing we always add uh, privately, the uh, Lord grant us many holy Catholic couples, you know, uh, husbands and wives, because uh, you want Catholic families. And yes, the, the husband and wife must uh, begin and, and live the faith. Uh, in order for the, when the children come forth, they are uh, put into that sanctity, that uh, specialness of the, the home, the home chapel, 
They, uh, they are surrounded by, not, by, not only by their, their, their uh, living, living friends, they live in the faith and all, but they are uh, surrounded by you know, the, the, the holy images, the holy images of uh, our Lord, uh, the saints in their home. Um, so they can, of course, uh, live that faith. They are growing up in the faith and all. So, uh, again, the, the importance of that, uh, the pilgrimage statue uh, of in this chapter would be the uh, Lady Victory. Uh, a chapter, a statue that uh, can, uh, can help sanctify uh, the houses and neighborhoods in this area, this region. Um, of course, uh, and especially helping couples, helping the uh, husband and wife, mother and fathers to sanctify their lives. You know, um, not in a, in, a, in, a, in a pretentious way, whatever. Our Lady, of course, in, in of course, uh, pointing out to our Lord, they have no wine. Well, she had, she had that confidence. You can imagine the great confidence of her immaculate heart having conferred the things from all, from the, from the infancy days all the way to the present. She is, she simply, uh, she's actually her charity for the, for the cup. To, to, uh, to save them from an embarrassment of running out of wine. Because uh, I know the Jewish feast, some of them times we go for babies and all. Uh, the Catholics like that too. <laughs> they have, they're using the, uh, uh, the showers and then the uh, rehearsal and then the uh, reception itself and then they usually have after follow up or whatever. Uh, uh, don't, I think they have the, they eat the top part of the wedding cake a, a year later. <laughs> uh, so of course, no, I mean, uh, it's a very important occasion. Um, but all done with the true faith. The true faith, you know, uh, where couples can uh, are called together to start that. Uh, uh, the domestic uh, uh, community of the family, uh, and of course, uh, try, and trying to live together. As the, of course, last week we had uh, uh, St. Paul's Epistle, all uh, the, uh, the, uh, the graces, the virtues uh, to work on in, in the family life, husband and wife. You know, the uh, love without discrimination, uh, hate and hate, the loving one another with, with the charity of the brotherhood. Uh, um, Patient in tribulation, in instant in prayer. Uh, do 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 husband and wife pray together, uh, and then with their children. Uh, the children, you know, when, when children are baptized, a lot of people think, oh, they have to get them baptized, uh, otherwise they're going to go to hell. Well, you know, if they die with baptism up until the age of five, six, seven, they're, 